Hello, curious gang, it's your London friend Vasi, and today I will show you how a realistic, typical day in my life looks like while working remotely from Greece. No, this doesn't involve any meetings on the beach while drinking a mojito unfortunately and if you want to see more of this cool content don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button down below yeah i never know where it is hi guys ben is still sleeping so let's go and get some coffee but let's be very quiet Okay, I didn't really think this through because now I cannot really open the door. Morning! Let's oh. get some coffee because I'm still way too sleepy. But the view is amazing here. Look at that. Thank you for being such a Vasi G host. You're welcome. We what have, we have here? We have some goat yogurt uh -huh. and some nectarines and also the, oh, rest, of, the rest of the cherries. I, I've been eating cherries yep. for like three yep. weeks straight. Basically from the past two weeks we've been eating cherries every single day mm -hmm. and just last week we got six kilos of them so yeah. just imagine the amount of cherries. Ben, what is this fun mm -hmm. way of... <laughs> Why of did eating? you push me? So basically this is like, you know, goat cheese but... No, it's goat yogurt. It's goat yogurt. However, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't eat it all in one goal, and you put it all in one goal, and you put it back to the fridge, it's gonna like, I don't know why some water gets created out of the blue, I don't know, don't, don't ask me. And I don't like that water. <laughs> but also I like playing around with it, like making like a sort of big circle. It's, it's really interesting. And guys, now it's 9.17, which might seem like a time which, when we are supposed to start working, but the thing is, here in Greece, the time zone is like two hours before. No. It's two hours later, so at the moment it's still 7 a.m. UK time. And since we both work in London, means that we have two hours to spend walking around the beach and just chilling. So this is what we usually do. We get dressed very quickly and then we go out. So usually in the morning we come at the beach even though we don't like actually stay in here because we don't have so much time and uh, yeah, I don't really feel like getting into the water so early but at least it's nice to have a walk around and uh, I feel like that's a good alternative, actually a great amazing alternative to commuting every morning. I can actually see that there are already people in here. At the moment, as you know, I'm your Haukideki friend Vasi, mm -hmm. and we are uh, at the first lake of Haukideki called Cassandra, and specifically in uh, a small village called Neapotidea, which it is touristy, but like definitely not way too much. And uh, here you mostly see like people coming from uh, from the Balkans. First of all, like from Bulgaria, from Serbia, from Romania, of course, like from Macedonia and Germans or people Italians. From, yeah, some Italians or also some British people. So you also see like other mix of Europeans, but they're definitely kind of the minority in here. And of course, Greek people. So something interesting about Ben is that he hates uh, getting his feet dirty with the sand, which is something which I definitely don't mind. And here you can see like all the umbrellas. We have usually four or five, yeah, let me count. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is the fifth row. And how it works in here is that you pay just for the drink. So usually it like for a coffee or for a juice, it is between four and five euros, which is the minimum consumption. And after that, you can stay in here literally the whole day, which it's something which I love doing, but at the moment, Unfortunately, I can do it only the weekends, but I think it's quite nice. But I, I really love that house. Not Which one? The blue one. It's a very funky color. I respect um, it. 
I don't know, I feel like it's way too much for here. We just came back from the walk. At the moment here it's 10 a.m. and it's already 25, like 25 degrees, but I swear it feels like a lot more. And I think I will start working to get some stuff done because it's actually 8 a.m. in London, so I'm even starting earlier if you think about it. And I quite like working in the morning because I get a lot of stuff done in short amount of time before I actually uh, have a lot of meetings because today, I have like four meetings, one after the other. Cheers to that. And by the way, the amount of water that I drink in here, it's insane. I think I drink at least four liters of water a day. One eternity later. The problem with this like time difference is that I have meetings until midday, but it is 2 p.m. in here. And we still haven't eaten, so we'll quickly go to one place which is close by, which sells like kind of already made food, but it's like the type of food which your grandma would usually make. Then let's go. Okay, let's go. So we usually like going there just to grab a quick bite of cooked food. You got the wallet? No. Uh, I, I do. Let's go. You have it? Okay. Okay, let's go. This is the place. Isn't it like so cute? I'm a little bit embarrassed of filming, so let's see if I can actually film. We just grabbed the food and by the way I got like my favorite eggplant and uh, on the menu it says oily food and then there it's is... very oily. <laughs> it's so oily but I think this is what makes it so good. Look at these colors of the salad. Isn't it like so pretty? Amazing. Have some bread, like half of it. And this is the bag, the goodie bag. Mine is, is a veggie meal. Beautiful. And this is one portion. Actually, right after she put it into this box, the aubergine fell down and she wanted to give me a whole... Can I please to make it like... Oh, okay. Hi, everybody. She wanted to give me a new one, but I was like, well, there is no point. No but point. now I understand why. Like, all the oil it is in here. All the grease. But you know what? It, it's fine. I don't want to make her waste the whole aubergine. And by the way, like, this is such a good naturally vegan food. It's actually incredible. Same. But yeah, everything they cook in here, it comes with like 10 tons of olive oil. But mm. By the way, it's insane how something so simple tastes totally different in here. Like, I know that this is just a tomato, but it's totally different from the ones that we have in London. It's so sweet mm. and it actually has taste and I guess that's why they call it oily food. <clears throat> And this, of course, this is not even all the oil. And let's be honest here, the best thing about working remotely, it is not the fact, of course, that you're working from somewhere else, which of course is great, but it is what can you actually do with your free time. And I just finished and I'm already ready for the beach. I have my towel in here, which is a Barbie towel, so it's a little bit funny, but I mean, who cares, it's, it's gonna be fine. It's 6.30, I'm going for a swim, and life is great. How do I look? I mean, this is actually from another day, but you know, you get the idea. Honestly, I don't think that there is anything else which I love more about working remotely than like having a swim after I finish work. It just gives me so much energy, it like, cleanses me and I love that. And we're back with a very refreshing and chill dinner of all this watermelon. By the way, guys, can you guess how much a big watermelon costs in here? Five euros? Yeah, it is only five euros, but it's literally enormous and very, very fresh. So sometimes when we eat too much like oily food from this lovely grandma, yeah. 
we like having a lighter lunch. See you in my next one. Love you all. Bye.